when people come in and you know they don't identify as an addict, number one, I'm not here to diagnose or label anybody. I work with the client. If they feel like you know their usage of alcohol or substances or any sort of drugs is not an issue for them, we work with that. I say, okay, I never force anybody you know you shouldn't be using. I think if that's what they would like to do, we're going to work on that. What I will ask though is, is this affecting your life in any way? You know, and maybe it's not. Maybe they say, no, I'm fine. That's okay. Because through the work that we do, that I work with clients, they might start realizing maybe this is, you know, affecting me in some sort of way. And when it comes to something like addictions, addictions is a symptom. Okay, it's not a, that's never the primary problem. Okay, addictions is always rooted in probably trauma or something else that's happened in, in their life. So we never kind of focus on, okay, like, just stop using because they're never going to be able to stop using until they deal with some of those other things that are going on. So addictions is a symptom and I, I would never, you know, force anybody to say, you know, you're not going to use. I have many clients even now that are in, in you know, they're using cocaine or other substances and that's okay. I'm not going to force them to say, you know, you, you got to stop using. I'm not here to tell them what they have to do. That is going to be their choice. We do work through some of those things like has this had any effect on your work performance or on anything else? And if they say, no, it hasn't, then we kind of move through that. But I think eventually people will, will start seeing if it is a problem for them. Through the work that we do, they're going to be seeing, well, I didn't go to work the other day. And then we start kind of exploring like why that happened. Well, I thought I was just tired, but it turns out I was just hung over. Okay, so now we're starting to see some consequences of this. And it's up to people once you start seeing these consequences, do you want to change them or not? And it's up to you, right? Regardless of what we do, I'm not going to judge. Um, I will continue to support that person with the decisions they want to make, as long as those decisions are not harming themselves or somebody else.